Hello everyone. Welcome to your tropical update for today. Before we start can I remind you to subscribe to this channel as it really shows your support. You could also share this video with your friends and family if you find it helpful. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Anyway let's start. Today we will be looking at the chances of Cyclone Danilo making a very close call with Mauritius, Rodriguez and even Reunion later next week. Here is my early weather follower hazard zone forecast, WFHZ. This shows the possible track of this system if it forms. Unlike yesterday the track of this system has changed a little bit. Some models are now predicting this system to move further west than previously predicted. That is why I have changed the hazard zone slightly to reflect this. No matter what happens with Danilo, I'll keep you updated all week long with updates so you're never under-prepared if anything suddenly changes. This is a screenshot of what the European weather model predicts for the location and strength of Danilo next Saturday. It shows a cyclone that passes just north of Rodriguez but then moves westwards towards Mauritius and Reunion. At this stage, Danilo is still a potentially dangerous cyclone. It is still too early to show the details as the weather models are all disagreeing with each other. I'm sure in the next few days we will have a lot more knowledge of what will happen with Danilo. Here is the GFS spaghetti plots for tropical cyclone Danilo, you can see how the uncertainty appears in the spaghetti plots. Unlike previous days the models are predicting a longer northward movement to the north. That means a bigger window of time for Mauritius and other islands to not be impacted as much as first thought. There are still some models that go right over Rodriguez and Mauritius. So unfortunately we are not in the clear yet. Remember that I'll be doing daily updates so that you'll never be short of information. We will now look at the new JTWC forecast cone. Here is the official Joint Typhoon Warning Center cone for Danilo. You can see Rodriguez and Mauritius are now in the cone. That means it is possible for the two islands to experience impacts within the next five days. It shows a 70-knot cyclone heading towards the islands but this could change, depending on the factors that limit or encourage strengthening of tropical cyclones. Well that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed, remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an update. See you in tomorrow's update. Stay safe. Bye.